Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've never been to my channel before, hello, my name is Brittany, and my channel name is pronounced Rappusy. Holy crap, I didn't realize that my hair was looking this crazy on camera. I'm trying to let it naturally air dry and it looks kind of awful right now, so give me one sec. All right, we're gonna rock this beanie a bit because my hair looks crazy. <laughs> so today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup look. I'm going out tonight because yesterday it was the husband's birthday and we're going to my friend's house. So I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup that I wear on the reg, you know, and let you see what I normally do. So let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and hit my face a bit. <laughs> this looks so silly, but I need to get, be able to get my forehead, so whatever. So I don't use foundation lately, so I'm just going in with this on the places that I want a little coverage, which is like the highlight places, and right there. So what's your guys' favorite concealer? This is actually my favorite, the Maybelline Age Rewind. I know everybody's like all hard for the Tarte Shape Tape, but for me that one doesn't work that well. So especially considering I don't wear foundation, that one's like way too intense to do on just like a bare face. And this one's kind of perfect. It gives me just like the perfect amount of coverage and still looks kind of natural, you know? And uh, that's kind of what I go for on the day to day basis. So give me a comment down below, let me know what's your favorite concealer and why is it your favorite? Okay, I'm now going to set the concealer with my RCMA No Color Powder and this little e.l.f. blush brush. I am then going to go in and powder the rest of my face. I either go in with the It, Cosmeti it Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in the shade Light or the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder Photo Focus blah 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 in the shade Warm Light. I think I'm going to go with It Cosmetics today because I don't really think I'm going to take any flash photography and this one has a teensy bit of flashback but I don't think I'm going to take any pictures tonight. I mean I might but if I do I do. You know what I mean? might get drunk and start taking pictures with my friends, but whatever. If I'm drunk, the flashback's gonna be the least of my problems, you feel me? looks good. I love this powder foundation. It just looks really like soft and natural and I'm a big fan of it. Do I look like a fisherman in this beanie? By the way, if you like this beanie, I will link where you can get it down below. It is from my, my friend's drummer's clothing line. Let's just say my, my friend's clothing line. We're, he's my friend too. I don't know why I said it like that. It's from my friend's clothing line and I will link it down below in case you want it. I like it, I think it's cute. And we're getting to that cold season, so. Um, I'm now gonna go in with the Brow Gal number two, convertible brow, and I use the dark shade, obviously. And I guess you guys will get to see me do my brows. And there's my brow. I think it's a little darker than usual because I actually did my brows black earlier with this, but eh, I like a dark brow. That's my brow. Looks kind of ratchet actually right now. It's not the best brow I've ever done, but it's not the worst either. This is my troublesome brow, so I'll go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have both brows on and for once in my life, this brow came out better than this brow. I don't know, you know, such is life, right? 
I'm like losing light and trying to hurry now. I don't know. This every, the sun's going down so early now. What are you gonna do? I need to get like box lights or something like real YouTubers have. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks a little bit with the highlight cat hair everywhere with the highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty. This is my go-to contour palette, mostly because it's the only one I have. I'm just gonna take that same brush that I put on my uh, setting powder with because, I don't know, it's a good shape for it also, and contour out these cheeks. Just It's like kind of tapered, so it works for that as well. Multi-purpose brushes, y'all. Okay, and then once I put on my contour, I usually go back in with that powder brush and kind of go over it so it blends and softens out a little bit better. It's just what I do when I do my contour. Cool. Now I'm gonna highlight. What highlight I use on the regular varies from day to day, but what I'm gonna do today is mix Opal and Moonstone by Becca Cosmetics. I've been liking these two mixed together really, really a lot really a lot. I've been really liking it a lot. It's like 4 30 p.m. I'm gonna have some coffee. So for highlight I'm gonna go in with this Aesthetica H22 brush. This is actually a highlighting brush. When I got it I was like I don't know about that for highlight but I actually really like it for highlight and I'm gonna dip in a little bit of opal which is a little too dark for me but I like the finish better than Moonstone and then Moonstone which I actually just hit pan on. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but this is more my shade, but the finish is nicer on opal. So mix them up and pop that on the chic bone. I feel like mixing these together makes the perfect shade and this brush kind of like blows it out so it's not too like intense since this is like everyday kind of naturally, naturally makeup for me, you feel me? I just feel like that looks so pretty. Now let's do the other side. Dang, Moonstone's the first highlighter I've ever hit pan on. And I know it's a travel size, but still, like I have like, I have a lot of highlighters, so. So I think the highlight's a little heavy, so I'm gonna again go over with my powder brush. Oh, I just realized I forgot to like hit the brow area too, like I did on the other one. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna take Moonstone with my finger and hit my cupid's bow. I guess a little opal too. Why not? That's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take a combination of those highlighters and hit my inner corner also. And now I'm going to take them and just hit the very, very highest point under the highest point of my brow, not the whole part. I watched this thing on Desi Perkins channel where she said she learned from, I think it was Wayne Goss, not to do the whole brow bone because it brings your brow down, where if you just hit the highest point right here, that's what lifts your brow. So I will listen to what she says because she's a beautiful goddess. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her down below, but I'm sure you do. And I will do whatever she tells me makeup wise because have you seen her? She's beautiful. Now let's go with some eyeshadow. What I do is super simple for this, by the way. All of this is super simple. So this is my little palette of just like my everyday shades. And I'm only gonna be going in with these three. These are the three that I go to. This is Creme Brulee, Peach Smoothie, and Mirage of Makeup Geek. I'm gonna hit Creme Brulee first, roll a quick there. And I guess a little bit of Peach Smoothie because I did that on accident. Doesn't matter, same thing. Do the same thing on the other eye. Right. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take creme brulee because it's a little darker and just smoke that under the lower lash line. My favorite thing is a super smoked out lower lash line. Like if I could, if I can only do one thing eyeshadow wise, I wouldn't even touch the top lid. I would just smoke out my lower lash line with like a mustardy brown. And that's really all I need It's so pretty. So I'm going to do the other side now. Okay, and I lied, I'm gonna hit one more shadow. I'm gonna hit this one right here. This is Desert Sands. It is my favorite shade like my favorite tone of eyeshadows, any palette that you see me go into, this is the one I gravitate towards. And I'm gonna hit the lower lash line with that also, but I'm not gonna take it on the upper, just the bottom. Perfect. And now with my finger, I'm gonna take a combination of Mirage and Peach Smoothie and throw that on my lid, just with my finger. Even with mattes, I use my finger for lid shades. Boom. See, not a revolutionary makeup look, just this is my go-to, you know? So I'm gonna quickly hit it with some setting spray and then pop on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that we got the eyes done, I'm just gonna pop on a lip, my usual lip, and we will call this done. So the lip liner I'm gonna go in with is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner, and this is in the shade, bear to comment. Such a beautiful lip liner. These things I have repurchased. Like I love them, especially the shade because it matches perfect with my favorite lipstick, which I'm gonna put on next. And the lipstick I'm going to put on is this Tarte. I don't remember which Tarte lipstick this is, but you know, the marble packaging. And this is in the shade Sunkissed. All right guys, so that, that's it. This is the completed makeup look. This is my everyday go-to look. It's just really simple, but really pretty, and I love it, and I do this 99% of the time if I'm not filming. Like, this is the makeup I go to if I wanna look good, but not look too, too much, but still look like I put some effort in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I am so sorry for the lighting. Like, it just got so dark so quick. I don't even understand how it happened. It's just the time change has got me all messed up. I thought I had more time to film, but hopefully you don't mind. Comment down below and let me know if you hated it or if you liked it, just so that I know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I promise more, more of my videos, most of my videos have better lighting than this. Okay, really quickly, I'm just gonna add this in. I wanted to give you a closer up of the makeup look. So this is it right here, just lashy and natural. Why aren't I looking at the... This is the makeup look. I just wanted to give you a closer up view. I'll just insert this somewhere at the end so you can see, but this is the makeup look. All right, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I would very much appreciate that. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me on my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Did you like what you just saw? If you did, you should go ahead and click right here and right here to watch videos I've put up in the past. If you click on my face right around here by Jack over here, you can subscribe to my channel and came back, came back, come back and hang out with us all the time. I think this is a good idea. We're pretty fun. We're all right. I don't know. Do it if you want to.